Greetings, everyone. Greetings. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21, Progressive Discussions, and uh, administrator of the Facebook groups, uh, Holistic Health Talk, and Everything is Food. And I am here with my very special guest and co-host and also administrator of Holistic Health Talk and Everything is Food, and the president of Petrus Fit, the one and only, the creator, Mario Petrus, is here live with me. How welcome, you, welcome, welcome, welcome. It, it has very good. It's been a long, long time. A long time, my man. Since I've had Mario with me live on the show in a different location. Now we are doing it in Edgewater, New Jersey, and we have one viewer. Greetings, whoever that viewer may be. Oh, Glenn Bean. Uh, Glenn Bean from Wisconsin. Welcome, sir. Now, Mario, in my opinion, has to be one of the best, if not possibly the best, uh, personal trainer and dietary uh, consultant, dietary master in the United States today because no one does what Mario Petras does. No one bends over backwards, puts in the time, does special shopping, special cooking, packages the food for his clients, trains his clients in exercise, uh, consults them in nutrition. No one else does this like Petrus Fit, and you can find Petrus Fit right on Facebook. Uh, feel free to click like, and also, if you don't bust his balls, if you know him, you can send him a friend request. But only special people are allowed to do that. Okay, but go to Petrus Fit, and I'm not sure you have a, a YouTube channel. Um, Petrus Fitness. Petrus Fitness. I, I'm not really. You don't really on there do too lot. often, but I still have it. Right. Uh, yeah. But I, but I would also like to thank yeah. everyone since we started the group 2011, correct? 2012. 2012, 2011. Everyone for participating, putting up great posts. Thank you very much. The group is top. I am top. so shocked on how fast Holistic Health Talk and Everything is Food have grown. they grown like, 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 like wildfire. When I, I started the groups in 2012, then Mario Petras shortly after came aboard our pirate ship. He came aboard and uh, we've been administrators for a long time and th these groups have really taken off. And I think that a lot of people don't understand the rules and the reason why I I put the rules that I put is for a good reason I used to let people uh, upload their business promotional banners and advertisements on, on in the photo album I used to let them do what they want you know what they did they would go on every day and post the exact same promotional banner the identical banner and they would spam and clutter up the entire album. So you would see, let's say, Joe Blow from Idaho's uh, Holistic uh, blah, blah, blah. You would see the same thing. And I had, I had so much work trying to get rid of it. The whole thing was duplicates. And this is the reason why I tell people, if you, you have a business or a profession, put it on the wall as a link. No problem. Advertise it as a link but don't upload it, because what happens is people abuse a good thing, and that's what happened. But Mario Petrus has had so many success stories, multitudes of success stories, that you wouldn't believe. You know how people say, would say, oh, the obese person lost all that weight because they had gastric bypass or some ridiculous, unnecessary thing? procedure and now they have all this loose skin. Oh, they need surgery. Ah, Mario Petrus knows how to tighten up that loose skin the natural way. I'm telling you, there, there is another way, a safe way, and a natural way to do things. And his success stories are a mile high. And now he's restarting his transformation. The great transformation of Mario Petrus has begun. And if you... Again. Again, but this time... I've had failures. I've had 12 failures. I've tried to start it 
this everyone should relate to what I'm doing here. The people who are struggling. Okay, I've had twelve times that I've started a weight loss, okay, and I failed the weight loss. I did a hundred and fifty pound weight gain. Okay? Hundred and fifty pounds. I went from the most perfect, healthy specimen you've seen to the most unhealthy, okay? I'm gonna be funny here. Disgusting slob you've ever seen. Got it? I went from 200 to 354, okay? I came down in the beginning. I was down to like 260. I didn't finish the transformation. I went back up, st struggling with partying, this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to expose all that at the end. Yeah. James over here is going to be filming the end part of this transformation. Okay, my whole weight gain is already on film. Got it? Everything I ate. Remember, we're doing the, I'm doing this exposing bad food as the number one killer on earth. Bad food, okay? Which includes everything out there as far as fast food, process, this, and everything, okay? Go ahead, James. Well, um, the, the American food industry is like a glorified uh, drug dealer. They get people addicted exactly. and hooked on refined carbohydrates and foods that are void in nutrition and foods that um, will create what they call um, insulin resistance, and this is contributes to obesity. It's not the fats in the diet. It's not that that's causing this obesity. It's the addiction to car refined carbohydrates, which is white flour, white sugar. Anything that ends in O-S-E is a sugar. Now, can I just real quick? Yeah, go ahead. I just started the transformation again. Okay? From 370. Okay? Four weeks ago. I'm down to about 330. Okay? A lot of water. Okay? A lot of, you know, that's why it was easy, quick weight loss. But I've been eating 150 grams of fat a day for the last four weeks. And I'm down 40 pounds. 30, 40 pounds. Got it? Now, you people are... You jabronis out there, uh, mules, Googles, whatever you want, you, what you don't realize is that essential fats, at the late great Dr. Uh, uh, Robert C. Atkins, he said it on the radio and he told me, in person, he told me... You see, most people don't practice what he preached. No. They're not taking in... Go ahead, go ahead. Because they don't follow instructions. Exactly. Like, the, exactly. the ketogenic diet is wasn't invented by Dr. Atkins. It goes way back. It goes way back, possibly to caveman days. They used the word paleo, right? Yeah. Now, fats stabilize blood sugar. Number when one. You, when you stabilize blood Number sugar, one. you don't feel hungry. You feel full. Got it? Number one. You don't get the munchies. Okay. So fats stabilize your blood sugar and more than fiber yes got it and also uh well fiber is important me... yeah don't, don't get them excited Go ahead. <laughs> fiber is very important of course to keep the colon clean yes. you don't want any po polyps diverticulitis whatever god forbid colon cancer but the fats are the raw materials for human sex hormones like cholesterol, dietary cholesterol is healthy, it's fine. It, it, you need this cholesterol for the production of human sex hormones in both men and women. The brain is composed of a great deal of cholesterol. Can I go one second? Sure, you know the farms, me and Salvatore were going to? Raw dairy. Okay, now, oh, not only that, then we went to a pig farm. I forgot the name of the farm, I want to get all the details. We'll put it on the show. Back show we Porky's? Do. Porky's pig farm? These pigs oh. they have. Okay? The farmer. Yeah. Fresh, right? But look, fresh, rare, almost raw pig. He was given to Sal, and he goes, Sal, that's how you gotta eat pig. And you gotta use lard. Okay? And you gotta eat all the fat. He's like, that fat is gonna clear out your arteries. The farmers know. They know. Okay, they know the yeah. truth. Now, there's a reason okay. why Atkins recommended nuts and pork rinds as the number one snack on a ketogenic diet because pork rinds, 
pork fat contains, believe it or not, just like ghee in India, clarified butter, contains a great deal of nutritional value. It is good for you. Don't believe the American toxic food industry when they demonize fats. The Heart Association, all those guys, look, I mean, I mean, it's so frustrating. Now, my, when my grandmother was in Hackensack University Medical Center, I, I don't give a shit, I, I name names. Hackensack University Medical Center, her, her board-certified cardiologist took her natural vitamin E and threw it in the garbage, believe it or not. Dr. Katavian, he's probably taking the big dirt sleep now. But anyway, the registered dietitians in these hospitals, okay, who need to get a master's degree to, to put together and concoct the, this horrible hospital food. Yes, a master's degree. They were given the cardio patients, and they still do it today, high refined carbohydrate, high sugar meals. I'm looking at it, I, I said, this is garbage. This was put together by someone with a master's degree in, in dietetics, di a dietitian. This is not the proper meal to give a cardio patient. A cardio patient See, they want you to cut out the essential fats, which is the number one deficiency in America, because they don't want you to, to become optimally healthy, because they don't make money. You're a customer to, to and the... People, and people will think you're crazy for saying that. They yeah. will think you're crazy. That's how crazy these people are. I mean, They make us like I we're radical. I, you I know. have to step off for one second. I'll be right back one second. Yes. I'm sorry, people. I'll be right back one second. I'll, I'll rant a little bit until you Thank come you. back. Yeah, so so, so this, that's the story. Uh, thank you, Mr. Glenn Bean. Greetings to you, too. Yes. Uh, well, beer, if you're drinking uh, good quality craft beer, it is actually, according to a radio show I listen to, it's like consuming whole grain whole grain bread. There are B vitamins, you know, because of the yeast. So there are other nutrients. But yes, uh, it, it will raise blood sugar somewhat. It will. Uh, all refined carbohydrates will spike your blood sugar. And then what will happen is the yo-yo syndrome, where the blood sugar goes way up, and then the body tries to bring it down, and, the, and, the, and the, just the body cannot produce enough insulin to take on this stress, this yo-yo syndrome of your blood sugar going up and crashing, and then finally you become insulin resistant and your pancreas just burns out, you know, like similar to uh, a car battery or whatever, an alternator in a car, you know, it just can't handle the overload of all the refined toxic carbs that you're consuming and the yo-yo diet syndrome. Which, doc, which Dr. Atkins called Syndrome X. He called that Syndrome X. So essential fats, the number one deficiency in America, is extremely vital. It's a, it's a, a very important nutrient. Um, it could be, of course you want to take the good fats, omega-3, including uh, fish oils, uh, and uh, vegetarian omega-3s, you know, like uh, walnuts, flaxseed, chia seed. Uh, hemp is excellent, outstanding, and that's alpha linoleic acid, which is uh, converted to EPA, I believe, but not DHA. That's why I take from Trader Joe's, you get in a little closer, I take from Trader Joe's what they call molecularly distilled Omega-3 fish oil concentrate, you only take one a day. And uh, it, it doesn't have... Over? No, it's like over 12 grams. Is it? Something like that. Well, but that's but a it's, big pill. It's concentrated. Oh, well. oh, yeah, it's soft gel. Yeah. You know. you, you, if you have a soft gel and you see it as a big soft gel, don't get nervous. Just let it sit in your mouth with some milk, some juice. Let it soften up and then swallow it. But it's one a day but it's concentrated. Now, that is EPA and DHA of omega-3. Now, animal source protein 
is more bioavailable and more concentrated in nutrients than vegetable source. That's why I laugh at these fanatical vegans out there that are constantly uh, pushing their lifestyle on everyone, saying, don't, don't drink, don't consume dairy products, don't wear leather. I mean, you know, they're nuts. You know I was vegan for five years, we know this. Five years I was vegan. I went on stage as a vegan. I have the pictures, everything to show you what I looked like as a vegan. I was ripped, I was efficient, I was very weak. I was similar to like a, you know, like a broad, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. That was just a joke, okay? Now, <laughs> your bras, hey, your bras out there, you know what I'm trying to say? But the more, the benefits I, I, I gained from going back to animal fats, and there's certain animal fats, remember, that's where vegans are dying. Not dying, I'm just saying yeah. losing. Well, you can't get vitamin B12. It's yeah. very, very hard to get enough natural vitamin B12 from a vegan diet. You have to know how to combine foods very expertly as a vegan. You cannot just say, oh, I'm going to take up veganism. No. You, you notice uh, vegan animals... I'm trying to read this. It's kind of pork rinds. Pork rinds go good with beer. <laughs> oh, too much beer makes us fat, right? Yeah. It's cute, you're cute, you're cute. Yeah, that's, that's Glenn you're Bean cute. from Wisconsin. You're cute, Glenn, you're cute. We have, we have people yeah. all over the country and all over the world yeah. on Holistic Health Talk, yeah. you jabronis out there. You can take that to the bank. We got, what, 12,000 now? 12.5? 12 that's yeah, over eight. Closing on, close yeah. on 9,000. Yeah. Yeah. But I remember when it was only a few people. Yep, yep. Uh, uh -huh. You know, we were like, like an infant. Yeah. Uh, 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 like an infant, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just a little humor. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Look, we can make this very funny and hilarious and have a lot of fun. But at the same time, we're very serious. Yeah. Now, getting back to fats. Okay. Essential fats are an essential nutrient. What happens is the dietitians and uh, the orthodox medical profession, uh, they scare people. They frighten people into cutting out fats completely, even the good fats. Now, a bad fat, and this is a real bad fat, is high, partially hydrogenated oil, which is trans fats, which means when it gets rancid, it becomes carcinogenic. They, they seem to have taken that out of margarines and a lot of products, non-dairy products. It's still out there. But it's still out there. Now, th here comes my next topic, which is uh, the topic of how to read labels. Now, most Americans are lazy. They don't... I know this for a fact because a lot of people I know would say, Hey, what do you mean? Look what it says in the front. Uh, no, uh, no cholesterol, high fiber, high protein. And, and then you <laughs> see them reading the nutritional information. Uh, no, they you go right to the ingredients. They go right to the. They don't go right to the. You have to go to the ingredients. That's it. And nowhere else. And and it's in by law. It's in order of predominance. Like the first ingredient is what it's made mostly of. Then the, the second word, the third word. If you see high fructose corn syrup. Put the product back on the shelf. Okay. Or, 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 you know what you do with it? Give it out, throw it outside to the squirrels or the dogs. Got it? Yeah. Or, or, or even give it to them. Actually, you don't want to hurt them either. Or the pigeons. Okay? <laughs> well, the dirty, the pigeon is a cockroach with feathers on it, really. And now, it, well, let me tell you, man. Oof. They taste good. I've had squab before. Yeah, but the, those are raised, and, you know, yeah, yeah. raised to consume. Like the rabbits that are raised for food. Yeah, and yeah. quail. Did you, did you ever have squirrel? Wild squirrel? Black squirrel? They eat and that in... in, it's, a, uh, in a, it's like sweet chicken. Appalachians. Vegetarian, vegans, look, don't get upset. Okay, don't make, it, don't make me eat a squirrel in front of you. Okay? Don't make me, I swear to God, I'll eat a squirrel right in front of you. Just kidding. Bite the head off like but Ozzy, anyway, Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy I came onto the show today. I'm yeah. sorry to cut you off, Madonna. Me and Madonna have been friends a long time. We've trained together since the 90s, early 90s. We've been through professionals, this, that. We've known, done it all. Okay? Now, the great transformation here, which Madonna's filming the last part of it. He's documenting the last part of it with me. I, we were going to film today with me with my shirt off yeah. and my clothes off as a slob, but I'm still a little embarrassed. Yeah, I'm being true. Okay? 
I'm being true. Now, we're going to... He's filming me once a week now for the ending of... Remember, I filmed once a week, gaining the weight, what I ate. I did buffets with him. We have it all down. Oh, we're, buffets. Yeah. Oh, Oh, we did it all. Port of Call. Remember the Port of Call? Yeah, Las yeah, Vegas yeah, yeah. style buffet? Let me tell you. Uh, we did buffets. Okay? Creme de la creme. Remember. Now, he's going to film me once a week. Okay? I'm going to start showing you guys live. Not yet. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till I'm not such a disgusting slob still. Okay? Then I'm going to start showing you live the ending transfer. But we're not going to have all that recorded. The yeah. end. Well, I'm going to be taking photographs with my high high pixel yeah. Sony camera, yeah. not on the air, but I'm going to be taking photos of him, and we're going to be compiling these photos. I'm going to show you eating 150 to 200 grams of fat a day, what the transformation of this body is going to look like. I'm going to show you everything, the foods we did, and Madonna's going to be helping me with all that. We're now, putting it all together. Now, uh, a good example of of people not reading ingredients would be bread, whole grain bread. This right. particular friend of mine only believed what's on the on the front because they trust the the American food companies. That for some reason they they trust what they put on the label. I says it's like trusting a politician. You trust what you read on the front of a label. Look at the ingredients of the whole grain bread. Sure enough, high fructose corn syrup. I says, why the hell did you buy that, those whole wheat crackers? I told you to get only 100% stone ground, multi-grains, water, maybe some... Non-GMO. Non-GMO, yeast, yeah. hopefully organic, non-GMO. If you see sh any kind of sugars, the body doesn't say, well, I like that sugar better than that sugar. If it ends in OSC, fructose, maltose, sucrose, uh, uh, whatever, it's a sugar. Now, there are sugars that are low glycemic that I recommend, which is coconut sugar. I use an organic coconut sugar that, that I get at Trader Joe's. Uh, blackstrap molasses is um, uh, when they re remove all the refined white sugar from the sugar cane juice. That's not bad. Very rich in minerals, potassium and iron. I think it's the richest of all foods. But getting back to veganism, vegan animals consume a much larger volume of food than carnivorous creatures. Homo sapiens, humans, are omnivorous. We're designed to consume both vegetarian and animal source products. Animal source products, like I started taking the old-fashioned desiccated liver capsules from Argentine cattle, you know, free-range, grass-fed, organic cattle. That is one of the greatest powerhouses yeah. of nutrition, but you don't hear about it because it's inexpensive. They don't make a killing off a of desiccated liver. You see, it's, it's, not in, it's not in the spotlight because it's, it's very inexpensive, but it's still one of the greatest nutritional supplements to take with your other supplements because it's just so loaded with vitamins and minerals and other other things. Uh, I told Mario Petrus I started making water kefir from this organic water kefir grains. You know, I didn't realize it. I read the book, the e-book. There's over 450 different strains of probiotics and other nutrients in the water kefir. It's incredible, yeah. and, and when it when it grows to a decent amount, I'm giving him some. And as long as you don't use anything metallic to pick it up, you can ferment any any kind of juice with sugar in it. Converts the sugar, it's slightly alcoholic, but it it, it becomes like soda. It's like about two percent, right? With the alcohol it, in very, it? very low, but yeah. it's like but it becomes like natural soda. It becomes more effervescent yep. and carbonated than seltzer in, in the market. Oh, and so it's, it's stronger. It's stronger, yeah. and it's it's absolutely yeah. power-packed with probiotics, which stimulates your immune system, keeps your colon cleansed, helps with detoxification, which is the next subject. Detoxification is essential because we are what we absorb from what we eat. It's not just what we eat, but it's absorption. 
Small intestine. Exactly. Number one. Small intestines, the walls, have something called villi. They're like finger-like projectiles. That's how the nutrients get into the bloodstream. When somebody is full of toxins from all the shit that they eat... And I've, been, I've been telling people, forget about everything. To heal, to reverse metabolic imbalances, okay? You have to put the body in a de calorie deficit first. Calories are too high, your body isn't doing anything. It's not changing, You're not reversing anything. You're not putting your body to the elimination state, okay? You're not mm -hmm. in that deficit. Yeah. You have to go to, I mean, you've heard of all these yogis and these people going into that calorie deficit to heal all ailments. It's big. But then again, like I said, it's a great show talking about this. James is going to continue with all this great info. But as far as my documentary, that's what I wanted to come on here for and this is what I'm going to tell you guys. Okay, get ready. We're going to be filming once a week. <coughs> Next four months, you're going to see something that never, ever, ever, nobody has ever done before. 150 or more pounds, slob, stretched out skin, back to no stretch, no stretch marks, nothing, ripped. Most efficient athlete you've ever seen. And no surgery. No surgery. With the loose no skin. No drugs. No this, no stupidity. No no peptide injections into the fats. All this stupid new shit that's out there. The, Remember, I get upset very easy. The gastric bypass okay? is for lazy yeah. people that don't want to work. It, right? It's crazy. Okay? Gastric that's what bypass. I'm coming here for. And I'm going to be seeing him maybe more than once a week. Because we're going to be doing a lot of other things with the nutrition too. We're going to be combining well knowledge and, and stuff. Because we're kind, stuff. we're kind of in the, we're kind of living in the in the same area or region now. So yeah. it's more convenient. It's a mile know. away from where I live. It's beautiful. Now, now, uh, uh, yeah, gas like Oprah Winfrey. You notice the yo-yo dieting that Oprah Winfrey went on because she insisted that her trainer and her dietitian is number one. Well, guess what? She didn't want to give up. Uh, carbs and she did an interview with Dr. Atkins and she got nasty with him because she did not believe in his paleo ketogenic diet and, and the, nobody it, ever did it right but because they cut out the fats once you do that once you like ketogenic like I said you can look up the founders but a lot of people look up Danny Duquesne he's one of the founders okay He's one of the guys who really brought it out in the bodybuilding world and, you know, the fitness world. Danny Duquesne, well, he's back from our time, late 80s, well, early 90s. Well, also, yeah. the great uh, trainer, Vince Guy Ronda, uh -huh. who I think someone told me he's from New Jersey, but he went to Southern California and he trained all the legends. Vince was big on the ketogenic, paleo, high-protein diet, eating, eating lots of eggs, he was saying that egg, the whole egg with the yolk is one of the most powerhouse Tom. foods. Tom, the whole egg, when people are like, oh, no, I don't want to eat the yellow when I'm setting up the diets, look, the hand comes right out. Look, the smack comes right away. Don't ever tell me you don't want to eat the whole egg. You hear me? Don't ever tell me egg whites. Uh, excuse look, me. it's coming. Because, you know, right? Vince Guyronda explained that Protein must be in the presence of essential fats in order for protein to be utilized by the body into the muscles without fats. And people thinking it's the protein that's giving you the nitrogen retention. Got it? Listen to me. You have to have the essential fats. And the yolk is the richest source of lecithin. There's the best lecithin. There's a, a biotin. There's a, other essential fatty acids so in egg yolks. But try to get the free-range, cage-free, you know, uh, uh, eggs where the hens are allowed to like forage. The pasture eggs, I mean, they're unbelievable. Oh, yeah. They're always dark orange. Oh, yeah, the yolk they're is always, rich. Yeah, it's always dark orange. It's, it's, it's a, now, it's, another thing I was going to say with keto, okay? Listen, people, you cannot be in ketosis for a year straight, okay? That's another thing we got to tell people about, Yeah. okay? Because the kidneys, everything is struggling. Remember, you're urinating out a lot of toxins. I mean, keto, for me, my keto diets, when I put people into ketosis, I do a carb chart. I slowly bring them into ketosis. 
slowly bring them out. And we do cycles of that every two to three weeks. Cycling, that's the okay? word I was looking for. Not do it consistent every yeah. day, every day. That you can't. So you got to understand something. An obese person, like when they did an autopsy on the late legend John Wayne, they found like 40 pounds of fecal matter in his colon. He was so impacted that he died of cancer. Now, an obese person is guaranteed lower to with toxins in, in, in his uh, intestinal tract, his colon, whatever, and his villi are probably clogged and matted down, so they're not absorbing nutrients. Detox is imperative for the obese person that has been eating the toxic American food industry Remember. diet. It's gotta be detoxed. But, like he said, like Mario said, it's cycles. And you could buy keto sticks at the pharmacy over the counter. You dip them in urine. If it turns violet or purple, that means your body is burning its own fat for energy. If it doesn't turn violet or purple, that means you got to go back to the log, the diet log, and see where are the hidden refined carbs that the person is eating to tr to pinpoint exactly where they're going wrong. But I'm telling you. There's nothing like his program, Petra's Fit. He's got the T-shirt on. Look, Petra's Fit. You see that, your bronies? Petra's Fit with the with the yin and yang symbol. Once a week, we will be filming, and everything is going to be. Like I said, I was going to show today live what I look like, but I think I'm going to wait a few more weeks. Yeah. Like well, I can, I can still yeah. keep the pictures. You're going to keep. He's going to keep. He's going to keep all the footage that I'm taking today with him in my underwear. Okay, my beautiful underwear. Okay, he's gonna have. Okay? Yeah, not not birthday suit. Underwear. Okay? Underwear. Okay. Now, foot. When he says footage, he doesn't mean like for people with a foot fetish out there that might want photos of the creator's feet. You know what I mean? It's not gonna be footage, like like Dr. Frank Footer. You know the podiat the broad certified podiatrist. You know has a foot fetish. No. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you hear about today about that child molester, the billionaire, killed himself in jail? Epstein? Epstein. He, ki he, he killed him. He didn't kill himself. No, he didn't do that. He didn't kill him. They oh. killed him. They killed him. He was, oh. he was probably going to bring out all the rest of the fucking child molesting scumbags in Hollywood and all the elites that are out there. Listen, you scumbags. Don't let me ever get my hands on you motherfuckers because I swear to yeah, God. Yeah, but, you know, inmates don't really like people yeah, but who he molest wasn't children. What, inmates? The guy's a multi-billionaire. Oh, he was in like an apartment. He was, he was in like, he was in Manhattan, like a little holding cell. And they found him dead. What do you think about that? Uh, this is the first time I'm hearing it. What do you think about that? This morning, I'm in shock. they found him dead. You think he killed himself? Or do you think the elites that don't want him exposing the whole racket that's going on? Because there was a lot of famous, wealthy me? people going to... Me? They had a resort. Oh, forget They're about it. all underage girls. Forget about it. They had a resort. That motherfucker, I wish he was alive still. Let me tell you. Well, they don't... Yeah, they don't like... I know inmates don't like... People that, that 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 victimize children. That's for sure. That's for damn sure. Now th these are these are rich people that have nothing. They're bored and they get weird. They get fucked up and they get strange and they, you know, they look for new thrills and everything. And uh, unfortunately, innocent people are you know uh, victimized. But anyway, um, um, oh oh, you got you got to run. Yeah, I gotta run. I have an emergency. But I'm gonna be back. Are you gonna be here all day or are you leaving? Well, I'll, I'll be I'll be here I'll be here for a for a while. I have to go to Whole Foods actually right now. I gotta meet some Whole Foods. Totally forgot about it. Oh, and, and you you gotta you gotta train a client at their residence? No, I'm actually meeting for someone at Whole Foods, food. Oh, I'll, I'll right. be here. Alright, all right, I'm gonna call you back. Oh, Guys, okay. God bless and remember. Just wait. That's all I gotta say. Wait. All right. This is this is part one of uh, today's show, um, and um, Mario will be back. I will be here, and uh, it was great having everyone uh, from uh, Holistic Health Talk. Of course, this video will be downloaded and placed on my YouTube channel which is uh, youtube.com 
backslash uh, mega life 21 same thing with my Twitter channel uh, twitter.com backslash mega life 21 um, I have a Facebook page that has been around for just as long uh, called progressive discussions and I have multitudes of political shows and all types of shows uh, involving uh, barbecue, fine wine, craft beer, um, fine liquor. I, I, I'm invited to um, a live show about the, the, the better fermented beverages, not cheap stuff, uh, by a Mr. A Ronald J. Cheerio, um, who has uh, a, um, a YouTube channel, and he's also uh, a member of Everything is Food, which is our international food and drink uh, Facebook group. So feel free to join that if you're a foodie and share your uh, recipes and photos. Um, and uh, but I, I do different things. You know, mostly I, I'm, I'm a progressive, and um, I like to do. Uh, uh, consumer advocate and environmental activist uh, shows. So uh, check out my uh, YouTube channel, check out the uh, Progressive Discussions uh, Facebook page. And um, God, I, I, I must have thousands of videos on my YouTube channel. Uh, but I, uh, I've been lately very much involved with Twitter because Twitter allows me to do voice to text and um, I seem to get um, faster response to my posts. Plus I am able to post on many other famous people in the spotlight. So uh, thank you and uh, this will be part one and then when uh, the creator Mario Petrus returns. We will begin with part two. We will go live again. So you'll get to see our, our mugs once again. But um, people have been misinformed over the years, over the decades, by um, the toxic American food industry propaganda. But I couldn't get over the registered dietitians in the hospital and in, in, in regards to what they give cardiac patients in the cardiac wing or the cardiac section of a hospital. It's garbage. And I'm thinking to myself, I, actually I told them, I says, you need a master's degree to slap together this garbage? This is a high carb uh, uh, meal. This is not a low glycemic high protein, high essential fat meal for a cardiac patient. A cardiac patient should be consuming very high amounts of omega-3 fatty acids um, and um, emulsifying lecithin, which I forgot to mention. The egg yolk is the, um, maybe I did say it, the richest source of the highest quality lecithin uh, in foods, and which is a, a bad fat emulsifier. It is an emulsifier of, of all bad fats, um, which would be low density lipoproteins, LDL cholesterol. <clears throat> and uh, you know, saturated fats are not as bad as you think. There's uh, nutrients like stearic acid, with uh, cold pressed extra virgin organic coconut oil, you have lauric acid, which stimulates the immune system. You know, uh, I didn't even get into coconut oil. I, I will get into coconut oil when Mario returns, if I remember. Uh, coconut oil is extremely medicinal, it's fantastic. I've even used coconut sugar imported from the Philippines. But what I really want to get into when he returns is um, 
that people should get themselves not only a carbohydrate counter um, booklet, but they should get a list of low glycemic foods. They need to learn or relearn how to snack. And there is a list. I do have a chart of, of um, low glycemic, low carbohydrate snacks that you're allowed to have. Okay, and uh, I will uh, repost that chart on Holistic Health Talk. So I will take a break until Mario Petrus returns. Okay, and uh, don't forget to go to Mario, the creator Mario Petrus' page called Petrus Fit, and on YouTube it will be um, uh, Petrus Fitness. Click like. To those pages and uh, of course Mario Petrus does have a uh, uh, Facebook profile as well as myself mine is under Mega Life 21 um, I created um, both um, holistic health talk and everything is food uh, in 2012 I'm the founder not that I lost them and then I found them which I always make that joke but um, it seems like yesterday when there were hardly any members there. So um, what happened was a, um, an individual, a neoliberal individual that was a huge fan of Hillary Clinton by the name of Tom Nolan, he, he didn't like one of my posts, one of, one of my revealing posts on my other groups that I lost. One was called, uh, This Group is About Nothing, named after the Seinfeld episode about the show that's about nothing. And I, I wanted to start a group that had no rules. Well, guess what? There's no such thing because Facebook's community standards make sure that you abide by their rules. Okay, so there is, you cannot have a show with no rules. So he didn't like what I posted, he ratted me out, filed the complaint, and I, I was terminated. I totally lost my um, original account, uh, and all the hard work that I did was lost, because I had a political group called, I believe it was called Hard Hitting Truth, and my so-called friend, um, there refused to bring me back as, a, as an administrator. You see, Mario Petrus was kind enough to bring me back in the fold as an administrator. But this guy, this bastard, uh, who was like Tom Nolan, um, he um, re refused to bring me back. So I lost hard-hitting truth. And Mario remembers that political group, Hard Hitting Truth. He refused to bring me back. He gave it to this other man. He, he abandoned it. He gave it to this other man who was not my friend. He refused to bring me back out of courtesy. And, uh, and of course, the other guy um, uh, took over who I did shows with like a fool, right? He took over the, the group that had no rules. Uh, named this group is about nothing. Okay. So, this is what happens. What I'm trying to say is on Facebook, and now Twitter is doing it with, with their community standards, because of the hypocritical community standards, no one really has complete ownership of what they create because they can, they can have it taken away from them by this company, which is a fascist dictatorship. And, uh, you know, community standards are hypocritical because look at what social media does. Look at what Facebook does. They spam the hell out of us constantly. Even with Facebook Messenger, they spy on us. That's right. Your private conversations are spied upon on Facebook Messenger. I have proof of that. And they also spam you privately on Facebook Messenger. 
as well as when you log into Facebook. So, uh, it's okay if they spam you, but it's not okay if you exercise your First Amendment right of freedom of speech. That's not okay. Okay, so that's a double standard. That's, that's being a hypocrite. So, I don't care what anyone that works for Facebook thinks, because this is the truth. I reveal the truth. I don't lie. I've, I've, been, I, I, I've been raised to be a 100% honest person, and this is how I am. Uh, straightforward. Um, wear my emotions on my sleeve, so if, you, if I like you, you know it. If I don't like you, I avoid you. I ignore you, and you'll know it. No fake, phony, big Cheshire cat smiles like a car dealer. Not from me. And, you know, Mario knows, uh, you know, that I'm an honest person, and everyone else that knows me are aware of this. But, uh, so this is where we're at. We, we, we've learned a lot on this part one of the show, and I'm really very thankful for the vast number of holistic health professionals that have become members of Holistic Health Talk. Like I told Mario before, I remember when it was just me and two other people that were members of Holistic Health Talk. Now there's well over 8,000 members. Many professionals are there. Yes. Uh, yes, we will, we will go over the rest later. And um, shopping is important. Now, shopping, we should not only reading ingredients, but learning how to shop properly where you are being selective in what you buy, only the, the items that you need and items that are healthy for you, and learning how to avoid the toxic foods and also learning how to avoid impulse buying of anything because that's why Americans have so many garage and yard sales trying to sell their junk because people are impulse buyers um, I'll give you an example that's very sad let's take the pet industry let's say uh, a child uh, badges their mother and father to take them to PetSmart or Petco and they go, oh how adorable, mommy I want that I want that animal as a pet, it's so cute, wow 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 and they nag and they take a tantrum you know nobody bothers to do research on Google and really study how to properly take care of that animal what they do is they impulse buy, they get the pet, not knowing exactly how to care for it, and unfortunately, through the cruelty of, of being ignorant, the animal dies prematurely because the people did not bother <clears throat> to research how to take care of that animal because they have to impulse buy. How adorable, how cute. Pets animals are not disposable just like children they are not disposable creatures okay they have a right when they are not out in the wild fending for themselves if they're domesticated and if they're in captivity they have a right to the proper care and to receive the best food the best environment and when they get sick to receive the best veterinary care, okay? And there's too many people out there that just impulse buy a kitten, a puppy, a reptile, maybe an arachnid. I, I have exotic pets here. Uh, I used to have more, but I'm down to, uh, right now I'm down to two scorpions and two crested geckos, a breeding pair, male and a female, so I hope they're, they their eggs hatch. So far their eggs have been duds. So I think the male gecko is shooting blanks, if you know what I mean. You know. So anyway, animals deserve the best care, just like children deserve the best. And, um, 
and that's all I have to do. And plants, house plants. Do your research, people. Not just with nutrition. And don't just believe one opinion. Read all of the expert articles. Nutrition, acquiring a pet, being a parent. Well, being a parent is another talk show because children are spoiled and coddled nowadays by the modern day parenting where, where the parent has to discuss things with their children like they are equals to the children. No, no, you are the alpha to the child. The child is like, like a blank uh, 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 CD or DVD. You are the alpha that must set an example, not just teach, but set an example. The late great Jack Lane once said, the best way to teach anyone, including your children, is by example. You can't be a hypocrite. You can't teach the child or your client one thing and then be another. You know, you have to teach by example. But anyway, this is part one. But we'll be back. This is interesting. Facebook is not. There we go. No. to uh, finish the show. This is strange. It's a strange glitch. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. That is very true. Let me read this. Glenn Bean says, since I can't, since it's not let me go off the air for some reason, which is odd, Mr. Glenn Bean says, I have somewhere to go, so I'll see the rest of this later. Remember, when you go shopping, all the good stuff is always on the outer walls. The rest of the aisles are just junk food. Well, sometimes the good stuff is on a lower shelf. It's not at eye level. And the items that they want people to buy are at eye level because they know, they know that, um, that Americans or people in general are too lazy to look up or look down below. That's very true. Damn. That's strange. Facebook is not let me not letting me close out the show. Oh well. I guess I'll have to keep on talking. <laughs> 